What is going on traders? Welcome back to the Traveling Trader. Happy Monday to you. So today I wanted to go over the crypto market as usual, as well as the traditional markets as usual. Uh, but I'll go over Bitcoin and why there is resistance at this level here and what that means for Bitcoin's price as well as some of the top alts. But this resistance was definitely expected. If you look at the crypto market cap as well as Bitcoin, uh, there is a clear resistance level based on where it's currently at. So I'll definitely go over that and how how to play it depending on what type of trader you are, whether you're a short-term trader, long-term trader, etc. Then we'll go over the traditional markets and the fact that the markets really want to ignore what's going on with the coronavirus, uh, which is a very bullish indicator, meaning that if and when the virus is considered contained and no longer uh, a threat, um, at least <clears throat> no longer a threat of spreading viciously, then the markets will continue their uptrend uh, even more violently. And then obviously we'll talk about Tesla and some of the other stocks that we currently hold in our portfolio. Uh, so let us look at Bitcoin and and some of the the other top alts. So Bitcoin, obviously it, it is, you know, m made great gains crossing the $10,000 threshold. We hit a high of almost 10,200. I did send out an alert in the trade alerts. Uh, if you want access to the trade alerts, link is in the description that 10,200 was the midterm target. And obviously that's not based on magic or fortune telling. That's just based on the levels that, that I see here. If we take a closer look at Bitcoin, you'll see that this 10,200 was, you know, a level of, of consolidation here going all the way back to September, 2019. And even before that, in, in August, 2019, we spent a lot of time at this level. And then we wicked to, to that $10,000 level in October, that $10,200 level. So there's clear indication by the market that this $10,200 level is a strong area of resistance. And so to get above that was going to take, you know, some, some, some time, obviously, and some miraculous volume. Now, the volume does look good. The VFI is above the zero for the first time, trending upwards for the first time since we did so back in April on that rally to 14K, you know, by the time June rolled around. So, you know, just because we see some resistance here doesn't mean that that Bitcoin is going to crash here or, or anything like that. It just needs to cool off. Now, a very good uh, indicator of um, of where Bitcoin cools off to, and this applies to a lot of other coins and stocks as well, is the 21 EMA. On my chart, it's this white line here. So this 21 EMA is where we usually see Bitcoin retrace to uh, before continuing the rally. And again, it, it just needs to cool off uh, from the you know from 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 the parabolic uh, positive price action that that has been dominating the the Bitcoin market. It can't go up forever in a linear fashion. There has to be some some cool off periods before continuing upwards again and the 21 ema or close to it is a really good place to uh you know place your your estimates on where bitcoin can retrace to as it continues along this trend obviously if and when this trend breaks then you can disregard that but while the trend is still in place then that is a good indication to use so i will definitely be longing from around the 21 ema as long as bitcoin continues this rally in my view <clears throat> um you know i do think that Bitcoin will hit between the, the 0.618 and 0.786 levels. So between 11K and 12, 12,500 before the halving. And then we'll likely see a crash only because that is what the market is expecting due to the last two halvings around a 20 to 30% correction uh, before rally, gradually rallying again and beating all time highs in the long term. So as a short term trader, you know, as I was saying in, in the trade alerts, that if you're purely a short term trader, then you you'll actually want to look to take profits at around the 10,200 level. Um, if, you're in the, if you're in it for the long term and, and you've been dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, then these little retracements aren't really going to affect you or you know affect your portfolio really you won't really care about them because your view is a long term if you think bitcoin's going to hit 20,000 do you really care if bitcoin drops from 10,200 to 9,800 no you're not really going to care and neither is your portfolio and you know you probably shouldn't worry yourself with that if you are purely a long term trader we've been buying bitcoin since 6,500 on on this this time around uh again i sent those out that out in the trade alerts you can go and check the history but you know ever since we hit this double bottom here at 6,500 
500. Uh, that's where I loaded up on the on, on my my actual Bitcoin. And I'm looking to sweeten the pot by leverage trading the 21 EMA here. Uh, those levels will be sent out in the trade alerts as well. If you look at some of the other coins, uh, actually, you know what? Let me let me take a uh, just just a quick brief moment to discuss the total crypto market cap. Same levels of of resistance. So because Bitcoin does dominate most of the crypto market cap the dominance has fallen a bit from around 80 percent to what 63 64 percent now um <clears throat> you know it, it still it still constitutes most of the crypto market cap so you know in general the levels the key levels are going to be similar so you know we do see uh this level as well being a level of resistance for the total crypto market cap which means that still a lot of alts especially the top alts the ones with a lot of liquidity do follow Bitcoin. There's one key one that 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 doesn't or or that at times doesn't care about what Bitcoin is doing, and we're up 70% on that coin, and that coin is BNB, and I'll talk about that in a second. However, let us look at um, let us look at, at at the some of the other top alts. So ETH showing some resistance at the same level as well, and you'll see Link showing some resistance at the same level as well. And if if we look at uh, at Litecoin, I'm sure we'll see some resistance there as well. And we do. Um, so you know, it, it's just a, a matter of fact that a lot of the top alts will follow Bitcoin as it runs parabolically. You even see that the you know that the patterns look look very similar. The crosses between the moving averages look look very similar bnb you know it was consolidating here in this 13 to 15 dollar range and it looked like this was a good area to start scaling into bnb that's when we started scaling into it uh, i did send out a a trade alert for bnb at this level as well and then once it crossed above the 50 moving average then you know that was a good area to to scale in some more. And then obviously now we're seeing the golden cross between the 50 and the 100, the 21 EMA is crossing above the 200. And since we started scaling into BNB, we are up now almost 70% on BNB. You know, and because it is an exchange coin, a lot of this is, is definitely fueled by the renewed interest in crypto. So we know that, that as the price of Bitcoin uh, creeps up, especially as it crosses that five digit mark, right? Once it starts getting into the $10,000 range, it's just natural that we see all the FOMO and momentum buyers come into the market. And, you know, Binance being one of the, the biggest exchanges in the world, uh, naturally, the Binance coin is also going to see some movement and some volume here. If you look at the VFI, it's it just, you know, skyrocketed from, from December 2019. So, you know, it's just natural that, that we'd see this. The point is, the point is to you know, to, to get into these coins at optimal levels. It's not so much, yes, I mean, once the, the market is going parabolic, you can pretty much throw your money in any coin and make a few dollars here and there. But did you get in at the optimal time? Did you get in when, when Ethereum broke this descending channel? Did you get in, you know, when Bitcoin tested the, the support of, of this uh, descending channel here and formed the double bottom at 6,500? You know, did you get in uh, at when, when Litecoin was consolidating here for months? between you know november and january in the same really low volatility uh low volume price range even on tesla right like did you did you get in on 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 tesla when you know it was basically at this resistance level for so long uh you know for years going all the way back to 2017 it was basically at this resistance level here um you know did you get in at the breakout of, of this resistance the point is to, is to be able to recognize the stuff um and and get in at an optimal level obviously when things are going parabolic again you can just throw your money in any coin and make a few percentage points here and there but is it the ult the optimal entry um and that that is what what i'm always looking at when i send out the the trade alerts is to make sure we're making you know 70 percent on bnb and not five percent Anyway, sign up if you want. Link is in the description. It'll cost you less than what a commission fee used to cost you on like TD Ameritrade on Char Charles Schwab, less than a cup of coffee a week. So yeah, you definitely get great value. Uh, we do also hold voice chats uh, where we discuss with the, the, the larger group. We talk about trades, we talk about entries and exits, trading strategies, what coins we're looking at, stocks we're looking at, how to trade options, any technical analysis questions that you guys may have. Definitely a great value in my humble opinion. All right, so let us take a look at the markets real quick. You'll see that the markets, as I stated at the at the outset briefly, 
that we're continuing to rally. The Dow's up about a quarter of a percent. S&P up about a third of a percent. NASDAQ is up about two thirds of a percent. Even as the death toll of the coronavirus uh, continues to climb, this j- to me just signals a couple of things. One, the effect really hasn't, you know, hit hit the the u.s market in any way that's deemed risky for for the long term so even though you know companies like tesla or apple might see uh, some slowdown in in production in the short term the investors in in the market don't don't deem these as as long-term effects and so the the market continues to push higher microsoft all-time highs today microsoft constitutes a huge portion of our portfolio here Uh, tesla is flirting with the 800 dollar mark again Uh, i did point out that there was a very bearish candlestick pattern on Tesla in this evening star that you see here. Uh, I also said that it doesn't mean that Tesla is going to go down immediately. We might spend some time, you know, trading it in this range before we see a, a decline in Tesla. Now, they do have their battery day coming up in April, and they are expected to announce uh, a couple of things. One, a 400 mile uh, range for for a single charge, uh, as well as a potential battery that has a million mile lifetime. If they do announce that, you know, expect to see Tesla above a thousand dollars. Those are just rumors for now, but if they are confirmed, we could see Tesla cross into the thousand dollar range uh, come come April. Otherwise, what Tesla is doing now is is price discovery, right? The the investors are trying to take in the new levels that Tesla is at, almost unbelievable levels when Tesla hit you know almost nine hundred and seventy dollars, and so it's a battle between the bulls and the bears trying to discover what's Tesla's acceptable price and acceptable range in in the market after this parabolic rally, you know, really going from uh, less than 400 bucks to above uh, $900 in a very short time. Last thing I'll say, in addition to stocks and crypto, we also do options alert. Uh, Our SYY option is up 40% today. We closed our Disney option last week uh, for profit. And if you've ever wanted to learn how to trade options and have been confused by it or intimidated by it and would like one-on-one trading with me, sign up. Same link is in the description. That is it for this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment if you have a question, comment, agreement, disagreement, whatever. Sign up if you want access to the trade alerts and or the one-on-one training with me. Stay safe out there, traders. Peace.